Honeybrook. Now, if you have a kayak or a boat, you know, it's pretty easy to get over here. And the secret is, I'm catching them over here. So, if you guys see this video, you guys know exactly where I'm catching them at. So, they're not big fish, but it's something. So, stay tuned. One bass, one bass. I know right over there, I'll be catching some crappies and sunnies for you guys. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. I think if you throw like a wacky worm or something right now, I think you'll probably catch a bass. But I like to throw jigs. Ever since I learned how to use a bait caster using jigs, man. Whole different story. Just more funner. Like I said to them, it's way, way faster to pitch with a bait caster than a spinning reel. Even though you can still catch bass and use jigs on a spinning reel, it's just quicker. It's, all you gotta do is just press the button. Wow. Spinning reel, you have to open up the bail, which takes a little bit of time. boats out here. Uh, probably four boats and it looked like two kayaks. And there was a guy waiting at the parking lot. It looks like he was bass fishing but I don't think he caught anything either. So I guess nothing at this spot. And a little trick too is that once you keep cast or jigging for a while a little knot in your line. All you gotta do is just cast out far, reel it in, and you're good to go. You're ready to pitch again. Brand new. That's my little trick for you for those big caster guys. I used to be into, you know, straight up braid, braid to bait or braid to jig, but then for about two years now, I learned how to fish with fluorocarbon. It makes a difference. Back then, I used monofilament, which is stretches, and you can never really feel your, your actual bait. I mean, you can still feel it, but you really need that really, really light action rod to feel it. And when you do get something, there's a bend, big bend in your rod because of you using a light rod, light action rod. So. This one is a heavy powered 7 feet 4. My original rod that I love is the Duck and Micro Magic Pro. That's my to go to. It's a medium action. You know, the label's all gone now, but medium action is where I started. Uh, for those who want to start out, I say medium action. Um, medium action 7 foot is probably your best bait or best rod to go with for all around. You can throw jigs, though if you throw anything heavier than a half ounce, it's a little too too heavy, but you can still do it. But I would say uh, those, uh, what is it called? 
one eighth jigs, you know, those all those micro jigs. Uh, those are the best to uh, throw with the medium action rod. And then medium heavy is for a little bit heavier uh, jigs or baits, you could say. You know, I love throwing the three eighth ounce jigs. Uh, black and blue is probably my go-to. And then if my buddies and I are fishing, usually he'll throw black and blue or whatnot. And I'll switch over to my favorite second bait is, or second color. Uh, the white and red this is one of the custom ones that I kind of made, you know, bought them separate. Uh, it's uh, what's it called? A war bait, I believe it's called, or warlord war bait jig head with a Bass Pro Shops uh, flash skirt, and then that's the, also the Bass Pro Shops um, uh, chunk. I forget exactly the name of it, but it's a Bass Pro brand, which is pretty good. I love the, the action of it. I went with the, a little bit more of a beaver style bait today because they usually say, you know, when it's cold, you want to use something a little bit more, uh, less action, if you know what that means. Like, it doesn't have too much floppiness when, you, when you're reeling and casting or, you know, jigging around. It doesn't flop around like that. It just kind of just flutters. So they call that like a beaver style. So, I mean, I'm not going to say that you can't use the one that flops and won't catch anything, but that's what, you know, everyone says. Which, it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty right for the most part. But, you know, don't be afraid to throw something random, something different. So this is what I'm using today. 164 ounce jig head uh, with a trout magnet using a Mojo Ice uh, 28 medium light action, my ice rod. I love using this for trout fishing. Uh, I don't use, you know, the four feet, six feet rods no more. I like to carry this little thing around, be more compact, you know, get closer. Nope. Uh, I have two pound lines on, so you guys will probably hear my drag go crazy. Try not to snap my line. I know sometimes the crappies and sunnies usually snap my line, so yeah. So all you do is just kind of jig, and you'll feel a little thump, and then it'll get heavy. And then my rod's getting wrecked over there. Feels like a bluegill. Yep, sunny. First fish. Not of the season, but first fish for today. Little bluegill. My bad fish. Little bluegill. Goodbye. I think it's shining like it. Yeah, it's crappy. It is. They're not big, but it's a crappy. And they want it. Yo. Crappy. Uh, I'll let you go. I might not keep any today. Even though I know I said I was going to, but I might not keep any. Throw it in there, at a sink, jiggle a little bit, and bam, you're on. I think this is sunny. You know it's a sunny when it twirls. Wait, that's sunny. They're still a little white. I think it's because the, the 
ground is uh, kind of mud, or the ground is just mud, or sandy, you guess you gotta say it. And they usually tend to um, change color to the, the area that they're in. Hello. Hopefully, it'll get attacked by birds. This fish there. Ooh, look at all this fish jump. This fish is here. This fish is here. Some other fish there. Some other fish is right here. So I like using the 180th ounce with gulp, and or if I'm using a uh, a bobber, I like to go with this because the bobber is heavy enough for you to cast it far. And when the fish is really finicky, this works really well. Fish one. That's one feel big. Sunny. No. Sunny. Biggest only so far. Look at that. Sunny. My trout magnet stuck here. Maybe I should pull them off. I think I'm on foot, start digging. The uh, technique I'm using is just jig, 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 jig. See how my bait right here is just kind of dancing. So I like to kind of keep it in one spot. But wait a little. That's the key. So, I mean, if there's a lot of fish, you can pretty much just drag your bait and they'll, they'll bite. But if they're really finicky, you want to wiggle it in one location. So far, it's working. The smaller thing. And all my lines all twisted up. drag on. It's gonna spin my line. But it's alright. I'll just fix it here and there. Fish on. This one feels like a crappy. Yeah, it's crappy. Nice. 
sir. Most of the fish are just biting the tail. They're not like inhaling it. So that's the thing about cold water fishing is that most of the time they'll just come up in the bay. But there's some that will just kind of bite and then they'll fully engulf it. That's when you actually get them. That's why you don't see me hook setting right away. See, like Renata has it. Oh, we're going crazy. What the heck are you? You stuck over here, sonny? What I just caught. Largy. Oh gosh. Caught it right in the snuff right there. Man. Nice. Say he's two pounds four ounce. Two pound four ounce. That's what I thought. Got my bass. Goodbye. Nice sir. Uh, Get it on camera though. Threw it in, let it sit, and then it just went bump, bump, bump. That was shallow. First bass of the season. Two pounds, four ounce. Not bad, I take that. side of the log. A surprise. Like, super surprise. Right when I turn it off, I freaking bit again. Got on the tongue. Like I was saying, white jig with the beaver tail, catching bass right on the shoreline. 
in March. Some people like to sniff it. I don't know why. I guess they say it smells like it smells sweet, but I never did. I just like how it looks. Let's see. How many pounds it weighs? What do you guys think? Moment of truth. It's at zero. Two four. Another two four. Exactly the same. Pretty sure this is the same uh, fish family. Same bass. You know. But hey. Let me see. Second bass of the season. Pretty nice. Let's see if I can get a little piece of it. The water's kind of chilly here, but. You ready, bass? Never. Goodbye.